Hello guys, welcome to my video, welcome to my channel, welcome to Walking War Robots. Caught in the middle. Now, I'm caught in the middle of two things going on right now. First, there's a player boycott going on over new weapons and robots, but that I'll talk about a little bit later towards the end of the video. The other thing I'm caught in the middle of is my own personal league battles going on. I am in, I'm at Gold League 2 right now, just came from Gold League 3, I've been in Gold League 2 before, I went back down to Gold League 3, so right now we're going to focus on where I'm at and what my plans are to improve. Right now I'm going to show you workshop, uh, Right, I, I have 25,000, almost 26,000 workshop points right now and 3,000, a little bit over 3,000 gold. Um, workshop points is something you use to buy weapons and robots and um, gold also you you can buy weapons and robots for gold but my plans right now is to purchase a new slot so that you just saw was my daily task which i've been going through and doing right now i'm going to show you the league i am currently in gold league 2 and um at this level i'm finding it it's time for upgrades so so it's um you know, it's, it's, it's very funny, but this is um, some of the things I want to talk to you about are, are going to be some of the things that's coming on. So what I'm showing you now is just the leagues to go. I'm in Go League 2, and there's many more leagues to go. But I'm finding the key to moving up is upgrades. So I'm going through upgrades right now. And um, I have a lot of, a few, well, so a couple, couple, some gold. It's not a lot of gold because um, I still can't purchase my slot. I'm at... 86 position 86 out of 100 players in Go League 2 right now and um, so I believe the next thing I'm going to show you is my profile and um, so this this is the profile I'm running with right now it's probably not my strongest profile but it's it's the most consistent as far as getting thrown into different types of maps and still being able to perform to the best of your ability this is what I'm working with right now you guys um, go go ahead and pause the video if you wanted to see anything else next thing i'm going to show you guys here is um a clan i joined a clan this is my clan it's invite only leave a comment if you guys would like to get into the clan and i will do that for you so we're going to go ahead and jump into some fights right now i'm going to just um kind of show you where i'm at you know make making a more interesting video we could talk as we fight and whatnot and I'll, I'll lead you through it all right so we're dropping into canon right here and for canon it's a big decision where you want to go. I normally like to start with my Enforcer, which is going to be my level 10 Leo, and drop into Canyon. And um, depending on where you, where I am situated, I like to start kind of moving, not necessarily to, towards the mid middle. I want to check to see if anybody's grabbing beacons first. Yes, I have a teammate grabbing beacon. So if, if, if they weren't grabbing beacon, I would go and grab the beacon. And I'm going to just go and I'm going to try to flank them. So what I'm noticing here on my screen is a guy is moving into my fire range. 
and I'm going to make sure I start hitting him because I want to hit them, be able to hit my enemies and not have my enemies hit me. Right, so I'm going to hit him and there you go, somebody hit me and so I'm dropping down into the cannon and I'm noticing that there's a red marker coming up on my left side and nobody's paying attention to it. He, he's over there by himself. So I'm just going to finish my business, what I'm doing right here, just dispatch one enemy or, or help dispatch one enemy. Um, finishing my my um, my rounds on that guy in the middle right there helping out my teammates and I'm going over to address this guy flanking us over here from the backside so he's coming up he's already on our beacon you can see he's changing our beacon at the top of the screen there he's um, changing or beacon D is what he's changing you guys want to be aware of beacon so what you're seeing right now is a teammate just dropped in on my side and he didn't realize that there's an enemy back here changing our beacon so i was hoping for some help i didn't get it and um i decided to, oh man I, I gotta do this by myself so i i, I kind of hung back a little bit because this guy has two thunders on his head and i don't want to get taken out and so i'm kind of hanging back a little bit my plan at this point was not to dispatch him the whole way i could have dispatched him just now he was his health was low enough but i was uh, I've, from experience i learned don't kill them because if you kill them then he jumps back in you see this guy just spawned in right there so i didn't want that to happen from that guy i didn't want him to spawn in on me and i think i'm going to get taken out before i could get a chance to turn the beacon back for my teammates here so um so here the enemies keep spawning in thankfully i'm going to use my second enforcer my second leo on here and i'm thinking to myself you know what I need at least these two Leos on my team to, to be heavy hitters with that heavy um that heavy um that thunder that hits very hard, especially up close, you know, to, to dispatch these enemies. He's a big he's a brawler. Um so I'm coming back in here or or home spawn was very close to this beacon here, so I could have got back and got right back into the fight here. Now I, I stopped focusing on the Leo because his health was down and also I don't want to get caught in a cone of fire. A cone of fire is when you have two or more players focusing on you. It doesn't matter how tough you are, your, your butt is going to fall when you have um, multiple robots shooting at you. It is very rare that one robot takes out, um, you know, two or more robots in, 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 a, in a face off like that. So I wanted to focus on his friend that was in the back. Right here, I am uh, just looking around who's available to me. There's a one guy here that was on the bridge. He was shooting me. He dropped down. I was actually going to go for the other guy there and, I, and I, he was more just caught up right dead facing off with me so I decided to go with him and um, he kind of dispatched me right there. Alright so okay um, it moved very fast but but what I was focusing on is okay I was going to go and try to flank these guys but what I'm, the bullet point you just saw on your screen right there is basically I noticed that all my clans mates or, or all my squad mates as far as it's concerned right now are bunched up in one side and sometimes it could be a mistake to flank off and leave them sometimes you could think that you're strong enough and um and and you really are not so sometimes it like I said, it's better to to put the enemy put your put if you could get somebody in the cone of fire it works out better so i decided to join forces with them to kind of dispatch the guys that were that were at the front that were you know rushing the battle and then and then go and, and since we did dispatch a few of them i decided to um, you know go back to flanking so this guy hitting me he has two medium points this is a griffin he has two medium points and and a single point so he's has more firepower than me but i had that solid physical shield in front of me which he was able to knock off uh, eventually and this guy here is going to take me out you know, so i'm squaring off with them but it's working i'm distracting them and um, we're pushing across on them right now. We, we're um, we, or we're down on the beacon bar, but we are we are up now as far as beacons is concerned. And it looks like they are making out. We are we are we are killing off basically most of the strong words. We're killing off basically most of the robots. So I'm down to my little my griffin right now, which turns out the level I'm at. Um, you know, mid-range robots seems to work, you know, mid-range mid weapons, mid-range firepower. Now, this is kind of part of what's been going on as far as the second dilemma with the, um, with the, the rest of the, you know, the rest of walking war robots, the walking war, war robots community. Um, 
he, they have introduced a few new weapons and we're going to see a few of them in, in the match. Not sure if that's one of them firing off right now. One of them is a Scourge. It's kind of like a ray weapon. But we have another weapon that was in the game prior to that one, which was very similar. So, but I'll show uh, uh, there is actually one that comes up in, a, in another clip. And I'll, and I'll show you that when it happens. So we have some new weapons and we have some new robots that are quite powerful and, and um, you know, just, you know, just have uh, extended ability. Here I'm just doing a little victory shootout for my man that killed the, um, the last robot there. So I'm just showing you here we, um, I have rank third, three kills, one beacon, came out almost 700,000 in damage just now. So at this lower level, I'm doing pretty good with my enforcers, with my robots, and that's why I decided to keep these robots, upgrade these robots. This gentleman here, he was in first place, ranked first place, only four robots. He is in Gold League 1, and this is his lineup, basic, pretty much level 10 robots. So this is what I'm realizing that, you know, I need to upgrade. So we're going to look at the, the number 2 guy in, the, in our squad right now, and you can see on average level 10 robots, he has one level 9, five slots, level 10 robots pretty much level 9 level 10 weapons so this is the level i'm trying to get to this seems like that's where i'm gonna have to go to to get to go league one which i'm trying to progress this gentleman here he was in the leader for the for the enemy squad he's in diamond league three and um same thing going on with him here um that you know pretty much average of level 10 robots and level 10 weapons so that's what i'm trying to that's what i'm going through right now leveling leveling up my weapons uh, so i believe we're going to go into another beacon rush match right now and um we're going to see how this one works out for us so i'm just kind of just going to show you guys some of the drama win or lose i wanted to show you guys what i'm going through now here it could be very tricky um so lately this is what i'm trying to say that as far as being consistent i'm going to go in with my beacon runner here because depending on the map you are so I'm, i was thinking here to go grab that beacon but there there was another gareth there with me and he was going in that direction so i decided to go for this second beacon i believe it's called beacon b the first one's beacon a that's beacon b but then you saw that dash robot so that robot particularly right there that's one of the new robots that are very powerful new in the game and the a lot of players are boycotting the game altogether. Some decided they're not spending gold anymore just because, um, you know, the, 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 the robot is very powerful. Some people think it's overpowered. And, uh, you know, some, some people, a lot, of, a, lot of influ, a lot of influential people, especially YouTubers, they just decided not to run the Dash robots in their setup. Now, I have a, um, a dash robot myself, and I've decided not to run my robot either. So that's kind of what I'm going through. You could, guys can see my, my, my booty's lit up right there from the, from the weapon. So now, part of what's funny to me, guys, is that's a gold weapon right there. That's a, that's a gecko that they're using. It's a gold weapon. And you're going to see you're gonna see a few other weapons that I'm, that's going to come up shortly that you know nobody's complaining that these weapons are overpowered that that could be one of those weapons right there as you can see is taking my shield down and i have to be careful he, even though i have the shield they call it a splash weapon and this guy has some splash weapon also so i'm gonna have to fall back and be careful again and this is going to be very interesting what comes up next here all right so i'm kind of hiding out back here the enemies are spawning in they've captured the beacon they're spawning in we are up as far as the uh, we on the beacon count and on the beacon car beacon bar right now, All right, but I'm just kind of scared for my life. I was hoping to flank these guys and kind of steal a beacon, but they were um, checking me out. So I'm gonna peep around the corner and see what's coming up, and it seems to be a Griffin with Punisher. So I'm thinking I could block that. Um, I could block that Griffin with 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 my shield, but he takes me out, and I just notice here. If you notice, he's kind of hybrid. He has three Punishers and one other weapon there, guys. And um, that other weapon is a gold weapon. So here comes Master Shredder, guys. <laughs> I call him Master Shredder because he just makes Swiss cheese out of his enemies. All right, so, um, you know, so, so that's a gold weapon. And it's, it's quite overpowered as far as I'm concerned. But nobody's complaining about that. 
but everybody wants to complain. All right, so I got one kill so far. And I forgot to check out. Let's see, that's two kills for me right there. You know, in a row, back to back. You see the bottom of the screen, Jacko is punishing these guys. All right, so um, let's see if we remember to check out how many kills we get at the end of this one here with our Master Shredder in it. In it, in it, in it, in it. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is, should I start trying to flank these guys and go over on the other side, which is their spawn point, and steal more bacon, or should I stay on this side here and just help hold it down? Because from experience, now nobody could win a fight by themselves, but from experience is, you could only count on yourself to do any one thing. Alright, so what's happening here is I was ready to go attack this guy and I noticed someone just spawned and I didn't want to get caught in their cone of fire. Right here something interesting is going to happen. My guns are about to run out. You can see my target on the screen and I didn't notice. So I finally do notice and I expend the last couple of shells. It just it had a, like two shells left in there and I expended those shells so I could go ahead and reload. And I'm just looking around and checking to see what's going on around me. Oh, we got another kill. I was looking around to see what's going on around me to, uh, to make sure I am safe and I am staying covered, not out in the open, but easy target for anybody at this point here. Right, so I'm just going around, looking around again, see what's going on. Uh, I think I realized that guy got killed. Oh, we have another kill there. <laughs> and, uh, so and these guys just seem to be pushing up on us, which I guess they have to right now because they're losing on the beacon bar. There's only five beacons, so all they can do is try to push forward and try to capture our war beacons. And uh, their spawn point seems to be over on this side, and we were we kind of had the advantage holding off the other two beacons over there on the beach. So uh, uh, this, this, this stage here is called the power plant. Right? The first one was Kenya, and this is power plant. Uh, so I am going to just come back in here again. Um, I am up to my second enforcer now, um, and I'm like, we're going to, I'm going to stay in here and hold it down. I am not sure if I did realize that, um, you know, that they were making out, they were running out of robots or what. Um, but I usually kind of try, train myself, don't run, because if you if you run from a fight, it comes back to you, it comes back to you anyways at the end of it. Sometimes you have to play smart, you have to know when not to overdo it, but sometimes you can't say, oh, a, a, a opponent is too big, I'm not going to challenge them, you know, because you're bound to lose. You know, a, a, a teammate just might show up and help out, or they just might be a, a, a underdeveloped, meaning not an unupgraded robot that you, you're able to, you know, to manage. Okay, so you missed that kill there. And um, so they're coming down to the last few um, robots they have left on the field right now. And, uh, basically, we're, we're at will. They, they are caught in the cone of fire. They, all of them, there's at least two robots shooting at every one of their own robots. So, um, you know, so I'm just looking around trying to make sure. There goes another one of those bash robots right in front of me there. That is the cause of the dilemma going on. That's the one I have a Bulgazari, and I'll, I'll show you that at the end of the video. Show you my robot. It's a very strong robot. That is actually my strongest build. If I if I bring that robot out, it will make my my hangar that much stronger. But just because you know, just to be not to be by myself. All right, so I'm going through and I'm showing you guys what the the, the builds are in this level. You're going to see this guy here, I think, was the leader. And he happens to only have a level 8, but you can see he has one of those dash robots. And um, and he has some powerful type weapons there. Uh, um, actually, it seems pretty much mostly silver weapons, but um, well, he did pretty good. He just had a good run. This guy here also, um, not very overpowering, but he has five slots. And but and and he does have very good weapons. He has some gold weapons there on him. All right, um, this guy here, he is uh, gold league three. It appears to be uh, no gold league two. It says, and uh, he is level ten again for the on average one level robot, one level eight robot. So probably level ten on average, you know, doing damage. All right, so. 
here I'm going to show you the chest. So, so this is where this is a new thing to the game since the last video I've made. They've included chests, and chests is where I got my dash robots from. Chests are where pretty much where you get the robots from. Here I'm showing you the storage case, and um, I have. So what? How you get the weapons at this point is components. Either you get them outright from the chest, or you get components. I have 500 components and 200 for some other new weapons coming up of 10,000. So that's what everybody is upset about. This here is just re your reward log as far as the chest you have opened and what you've been getting from them. So it's going to show you pretty much the same thing of, of what I've been winning. Um, so that's what everybody's upset about: how expensive these robots are and um you know so here i'm showing off a gareth that i won from the silver chest and my dash robot i'm going to show off now is actually one i won from the um, a bronze chest so i'm happy i have my robot guys coming down to the end of the video and so i want to thank you guys for joining me i'll catch you in the next one we'll talk a little bit more about um the dilemma and what's going on all right, so I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one as far as that is concerned. All right, so peace out, guys. You guys be blessed. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.